everyone, today we're going to talk about Tom Yum by Parfum Persona. And this is, if you aren't familiar, Tom Yum is a Thai soup, and that's what inspired this. The perfumer who created it, Prin Lomros, uses a lot of Thai ingredients, mostly really natural stuff. This one is 100% natural, and uh, let's check it out. Kind of interesting because a lot of it's not that typical for things to show the notes on the box, but this says lime, lemongrass, kaffir lime leaf, galanga, holy basil, also known as tulsi, coriander, dill, pedigrain, and chalud bark. Actually, according to uh, Lucky Scent and Fragrantica, there's also grapefruit, jasmine, and patchouli in here. I don't necessarily pick up a lot of those, and it's interesting that it wouldn't say that on the list on the box if there is, but... So pretty simple, just kind of cardboard, but nice, you know, has the name on it, sort of embossed and gold-like thing. Cute little bottle. Again, interesting, it says the notes on the actual bottle, too. I really do not see that, especially so prominently, very often. This is a 30 mil. That's the only size that I've seen it sold in. And I sampled it as I do with anything before I bought a full bottle. It's pretty rare for me to think that a fragrance is full bottle worthy, but for me this was. So let's uh, get it on and talk about the scent. Oh, yeah. So even though you might think this would be super wild and crazy, like, oh, it's, you know, n named after a soup or whatever, but it's actually very much kind of a typical eau de cologne in that strong pedigree kind of style with some aromatics but it just adds this fresh spice that's often kind of missing from those and is more interesting than those it's very astringent and also yeah spicy um you've got all kinds of sort of little green aromatics working in here i usually get tom kagai when i'm getting thai soup i haven't had tom yum in a while so i can't remember exactly how much this smells like the real thing but i'm gonna say it's pretty close Yet, this doesn't smell like a gourmand. It's not going to make people, in most cases, think you're walking around smelling like a bowl of soup or any kind of savory dish, really. It actually reminds me a little bit of a, you know, slightly more intense in terms of the notes used versions of Louis Vuitton on the beach. I think maybe because the yuzu and cypress in that one sort of create this green, aromatic, yet astringent scent. Yeah, and you can definitely kind of pick up the coriander here. I don't normally like coriander, aka cilantro, in terms of the fragrance note, but here it kind of works really well with it. And the most similar, yeah, things that I own to this would be, as mentioned, Louis Vuitton on the Beach, and maybe 4711 Cologne, which is in no way comparable to this. It's very much just like the typical, you know, cologne um, with... I think probably rosemary, uh, lavender, pedigree, orange blossom, stuff like that. But it has that same kind of wearability for a hot day. You just want something refreshing that's like an eau de cologne style. Yeah, I really appreciate how unique this is. I wouldn't say it would necessarily be something that's like a huge compliment puller. It is probably a little bit more of an acquired taste still. But if you're into kind of, you've tried all these different pedigree and cologne style fragrances out there, and you haven't quite found something that feels like it scratches that itch and is more unique, this is fantastic. So it's very pricey. Uh, let's see, we've got, I believe this is for the 30 mil. It is, yeah, 140. And obviously that's pretty extreme. If you want to calculate that, that would be like 462 or something for 100 mil. But to me, I'm really happy that they sold it in 30 mil because it, this is pretty strong. Um, not in terms of that it's going to have huge projection necessarily or even super long longevity, but in terms of just the scent profile itself, this isn't the type of thing that you would be doing 10 sprays of or something like that. Yeah, and you could just kind of, this is the type of thing I would say for enjoying in your own scent bubble, really hot day, you want something interesting. And it's just, again, it's 100% natural, which I don't think is automatically better. Uh, there's lots of synthetics that are perfectly safe, and I'm sure most of the fragrances that I own are chock full of them, but it is nice when you find one that's 100% natural, and it's also really good. And you can really smell the quality of that here. 
it's just so authentic and unmuddled and just pure smelling. Yeah, so bottom line, sample it first. If you're thinking about it, you can get a dabber sample on Lucky Scent for eight bucks. I will put the link in the description where you could buy a bottle or a sample. And yeah, again, I'm glad that this comes in 30 mil. I think this can last me a really, really long time. So I would not have wanted to spend, you know, 460 to 100 mil for this. It just wouldn't be necessary despite the fact that I really like it. But I would definitely recommend it if you like fresh spice and classic eau de cologne style fragrances and, you know, supporting a cool niche uh, perfumer. And yeah, Prim Lamars is so talented. He comes out with the most amazing kind of unique stuff. He also owns Strangers Parfumery along with a couple other ones. So if you've tried any of his other stuff, definitely check this out if you're interested in trying, you know, natural Thai ingredients, if you like Tom Yum. I think this could reach a, a good audience within the niche community, not designer style again, but it's absolutely worth checking out for just an interesting change of base.